Happy Thursday, May the 2nd. Hebrews 7, I'm only going to read 26 through 28. Really short today. For this is the kind of high priest we need, holy, innocent, undefiled, separated from sinners, and exalted above the heavens. He doesn't need to offer sacrifices every day as high priests do, first for their own sins, then for those of the people. He did this once for all time when he offered himself. For the law appoints as high priests men who are weak, but the promise of the oath, which came after the law, appoints a son who has been perfected forever. All right, so now we're finishing this passage. Jesus is the perfect priest. An effective high priest must be perfect. Now, I believe that once again, it's important to remember what we've learned about Jesus in the book of Hebrews. Jesus is son. He is heir of all things. He is the creator of all the universe. He is the sustainer of all the universe. He is the radiance of God's glory. So when God's glory is seen, Jesus is actually that shining radiance and the exact expression of the essence of God. Jesus is God. Jesus is God the Son. He is eternal. Because of and at his incarnation, he is the only perfect human being to ever live. It is in his perfection that he can be both king and priest. He has made the sacrifice that accomplishes the forgiveness of sin. And in this passage, we see that he is holy, innocent, undefiled, and separated from sinners. When his work was completed or perfected, he sat down at the right hand of the Father. He is the highest priest forever. He is our priest. We'll see you Friday.